Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for the 25th of January. I'll look at the S&P, then the NASDAQ, and then we'll have a look at our half a dozen stocks that um, we've got uh, trades in, in most of them. So with the S&P 500 here, um, as you know, this is the conservative count, and I won't go into the, the, the large account today. It's Monday morning, and I've got to get my brain functioning, so I'll just stay with, um, with what I've got here. So uh, wave three and four here, then one and two here, and going up for wave three, four, and five here that will take us to four thousand. Either way, we're going to have a, um, you know, a corrective pattern at the four thousand. Okay, so um, we'll be able to pick up the thread from there. So today we'll just have a bit of a look at this little structure in here. So we'll move from the daily to the intraday. So the intraday from wave here we're looking at one and two and three and four and then one and two and three and four and going up for wave five here now there's problems with this count here of course this wave four overlaps wave one this wave four here overlaps wave one here so um, I could change this into a large account having this as all the way up for wave one here and back for wave two uh, and the same as these as one and two and one and two here as well I could do that but I think I'll just stay with this because I know that the market's creeping to the upside and when it's creeping it gets these overlapping wave structures to a point uh, so we'll just stay with it and we'll just work from the bottom up so that in mind from <clears throat> from this way forward we're looking at one and two and three and four and you can obviously see the overlap <clears throat> there and the overlap's okay on on intraday structures it's just not sort of acceptable when you get to larger structures so um uh, and obviously that's going to cause a lot of uh, uh comments as well but um i'll just continue so one and two here and three and four so not much change really from what we're looking for last time we spoke so in this case we'll be looking for a move in a nutshell up to 3900 or very close to that and then looking for a larger correction um, at that point okay so i'll go in and have a closer look at this particular structure so picking it up from this wave three here and wave four here we're looking at this as wave one last time we spoke wave two here we're looking for wave three to the upside um last time so that's it there we'll look at wave four here and then this one here we'll be looking at probably wave one and two back in here and three in here and four across that old high may probably get a bit complicated and that's also within group two as well so from 800 to 900 it's just really one two three five and eight so one two and three here and then five and then eight but with eight we've got group two which is 65 72 and 80 and we can see that the market never got support within group two here if it managed to stay within the lower end of group two the 65 3865 then there's always a good chance for it to start climbing up and and you can stay with it but failing to get support there and it also uh touched on it pull back and retested it and then failed the retest so it got rejected at that point um it's hindsight but um it's good to learn like here you know the market classic trading levels pattern the arrival the reaction well first high above the level but it basically sat there and then it took out these highs here so they're they're the entry points you know if it had failed there and you know retested here and dropped down well then you would have been on the short side so you just use large numbers and play the support and the resistance game and then have your money management and the Elliott can just help us with the direction so we'll be looking for five waves up here it's making the fifth wave here a little bit long so we just need to be a bit mindful um, of that especially with a deep drop like this but we need to stay with it it doesn't appear that this is um, all finished uh, here yet as as a, as a structure so uh, I'll leave it at that of course we can put our stop by just well first of all we can move that to over here to that one there and then if I copy that there and I'll just change that color there and use it as a stop loss so that can go under there for that that should bring us pretty close to break even at this at that point anyway with this trade and yeah I think I'll just leave it at that I'll just save that 
and we'll have a look at the NASIC. The NASIC's got a slightly different uh, count um, in that I've got one and two here, then one and two and three and four and five to here. So it's a little bit belated, uh, well, but earlier actually, because we've got wave three already in place. So obviously one of them is wrong, but it kind of don't matter in a way. We still just need to track the, the five wave structure up. And even this is probably a conservative count as well, but uh, uh, I mean, I just need to stay with, with it. That's the main point for the time being. We can look at the bigger structure during the week. And um, yeah, so wave three, four here, and then one and two and three and four and five. So looking for that five wave structure to the upside to finish uh, at that point. Let me just see what I've got on the intraday. Yeah, not a lot of change here as well. So we're looking for wave one and two and three and four and five here to finish to the upside. So the, the S &P, even though it's a different count, the S&P has got the same pattern, um, just a different slight count. So the S&P will also create another little high here, have a correction as a wave four and then push up as well. So they'll do the same thing. Um, I've just got them labeled slightly differently, that's all. Uh, and obviously I need to uh, check on that. So just on the four hour chart here from this one and two here no real change um, here so one and two and we we're looking for wave three last time we spoke and wave four and then going up for wave five and then wave four so we could probably bring that back into this space here for that because the wave four normally pulls back to the wave four of one lesser degree so let's just go to the hourly chart and check on this so It's probably finished, this one. <coughs> I could even put that wave three. Let me just get a sense of that. Yeah, it's probably, I mean, it, 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 the wave four would look better if that was there as an A and a B and a C, but I just that's just not finished there, is it? That's um, from that low there, that's one and two in here and three and four and five to that point. So I've still got this one to, to look at. Anyway, I'll leave it there for the time being. The good news about this though is that um, when we count our numbers again, one, two, three, five, and eight. So we've got one, two, and three, and then five. We can copy that and put eight in here. If we put eight in there, we've got group two, which is 13, which is 65, so 650 in this case and then 72 in here, the 720. But the main point here is that we're sitting on, that's the 13,000, and then we've got group one, which is one, two, and three. So um, yeah, group one. And we know that if we get a tested support on group one, uh, then uh, the market can leave the 13,000 at, at that point. So with the, with the Group one to the upside, group two to the to the low side. That's the swing range for um, the market in this at this number. But support here would take us up to the five at that point, so it leaves it at that point. And this one down here would take us lower at that point. So we we're, we're looking at support here now, and that means that um, now that that's finished, then we can go you'd go long from that point basically. Um, but you'll just really want to trade up to the five. You might be able to squeeze a bit more out of it. Um, maybe 13,500, then you've got 10, 20, and 30. So maybe into the 30 there. Um, but anyway, that, that would be the, the setup at that point. Um, but because we've got this larger structure here, we'd be expecting a pullback in that point. Um, Okay, so I'll just save that and leave it at that for that one. And now we're just going to have a look at our stocks. So we're long in Facebook and uh, with this one here, we've got uh, on our website, we've just got the one trade in with the stop at 246. Um, but we're looking at this one here. Um, so we've got two trades in this one here. So you may or may not have that. It's not, not a big deal. But um, one of the things that haunts me with this a little bit is that uh, I didn't really get a nice five waves down for wave C here. So I've really got to put wave B there for that as an A and a B and a C wave here for that. Um, and I always felt that I had five waves down. Down here for this. Um, so, but because this hasn't played out nicely here, um, 
I kind of got to look at a triangle like the other ones, but we've got a bit of an impulse wave. There's two things that can occur here. We can go up in five waves here, have a pullback here, and then go straight up here and continue to go to the upside um, here for that. Okay. Or we're going to have five waves up here, three waves back, five waves up here, coming into these highs over here roughly, and then have three waves back again uh, for this wave four to play out here based on, on, on this particular structure not finishing very well here. I mean, obviously we can call this down for one here, ABC for two here, then one, two, three, four, five here for the third wave. But the third wave hasn't even really dropped below the first wave, so that's a little bit difficult to to get away with that um, so yeah it's just a little bit and none of this is really nice here as well because see we've got five in here and then a correction there and another five here so it just doesn't count very nicely here if we had a nice three waves in this structure here then I'd be more confident with the triangle pattern so we'll just see how it goes and I'll have a look at the intraday I'll just see how it dances at, uh, at these levels that's a little bit important here because we've got the number eight here so from 200 to 300 we've got one two three five and eight but we've got eight we bring in the 72 here and also the 65 as well that will be in there so all of that is group two there and you can see that it's really locked in uh, a lot of this structure here as well so um but we'll have a look on the I'll have a look on the tick chart and have uh, pull that apart but we're just going to keep our stop out of the way here so not going to matter um this is corrective all of this pattern and we're going to be making new highs above here and all we need to do is do not over trade keep the stop out of the way and hang on okay we've been looking at square as well um, two favorite sort of banking stocks these days are square and paypal um, but with square here um, as you may know from before, I've counted wave three, four, and five up there as a top. It's probably not the top, but you know, being conservative, I just sort of work up that way. And if we take out, uh, as I mentioned, we had this up here last time, or we would have had it up here, then here, and we can have it down here. So we can go long here, and if we do go long here, then on, and that gets triggered here at that point, then um, we'll be looking for a bigger picture to the upside. But even still, at that point, even if this does move up through here, it's still going to have some type of, well, that's the arrival, this is the reaction, we'll have a first high above the level, so then we'll have some sort of ABC pattern across here, and then we can use that over here to go long on at that point. So you could trade up there if it if it triggered, that's all I'm saying. Um, but would yeah, we need this is the medium level here, so we'd need to catch it over here for that. Um, okay, so next one is Apple. A little bit messy, but um, we've done all the right things at the right time. This trade here was one before Christmas, and that got uh, taken out at Christmas time. And then we've moved back in over here, and we should be looking for a move up into the uh, 150 area here. And uh, of course, uh, we can certainly get a reaction from the old highs here before pushing up further. Um, but I haven't really pulled that apart, but I think I see one, two, three, four, and five in here. So we just expect that. But once again, we'll keep the stop out of the way. Um, I'm counting this here as wave three here, an A and a B and a C for wave four, and then looking for wave one and two here, and then one and two and three and four here, and going up for five of wave three, then four, and then five. So that's the way that I'm seeing it. I certainly understand that some of this doesn't count very well, but it sort of fits well. And also to this move here, one, two, three, four, five here, I can understand that we could also look at that as an impulse. That's why I've got wave one here and back for wave two. Then I would need to look at all of this as wave one as well here. So that presents a much bigger picture to the upside. Um, I don't think we need to go there yet. It's probably the case, but we don't need to, to um, uh, let our imagination run wild of how much money we can make and all the rest of it. I can tell you that um, we've got support on top of group one now, which is the third, number three. Um, three is always a group one. It just may be minor group one or 
subgroup one. So that means that it separates itself from the pool of this number here and then will be pulled up to five, the second strongest number. So um, that's what we'll see when we get to the 150 here. We're highly likely to see some type of correction across this level. So um, that's why we'll trade there, we'll get out, we'll wait for a setup and then we'll go long again. Um, with the right setup, okay? Um, Alphabet, Google, once again a conservative count, we've got wave three and four here, and then one and two and three and four here, and then going up for wave five, so one and two and three, probably doing the fourth wave now, and then wave five up and we'll take profit at the 2000 for that, and that will be the end of that. Um, and once again, that may not be the top as well, but we just need to see how that dance there. And I won't go short because um, we'd need to gather evidence of that, and to gather evidence we would need a um, an impulse wave to the downside. So this one here, for example, doesn't have to be as large as that, but we can look at the first little impulse wave in here, and then we can look to go short. We may not get very far, it may be part of a bigger correction, but if we were going to short on the turn, we don't want to short it at the top, we want to wait for five waves down, then a three wave back, and then that way it gets us down here somewhere, and then we can figure out if we've got a corrective pattern, a bullish corrective pattern, or we're going to have a larger uh, bearish pattern. So from the top here, we'll look for the first five waves, pull back, then we can look to go short at that point, um, but trading against the trend uh, in these strong tech markets with money being pumped into the system, um, you know, not such a good idea, but, you know, we are seeing, um, you know, yields uh, push higher in the bond market. So, you know, uh, a slight little bit of inflation sort of popping into the onto the scene. So we'll just keep a bit of an eye on that that can uh, dampen things for equities uh, somewhat but um, yeah the trend is still up by all means so next one is amazon and with amazon here we've got this triangle pattern wave three here uh, we can look at it in different ways an a b c d and e here either way <clears throat> we did all the right things we've gone uh, long uh, on the low here so that's quite good um, the main takeaway here is that our target to the upside, uh, well, should be 4,000, but there's problems along the way, of course. Certainly, we need to make a high above here, <clears throat> okay? But that may take us just to the number eight here, so we need to be a little bit mindful um, of eight. Um, there's lots of other levels that we need to go through first, so the struggle that we're going through now is the, is number three there, the 300, so that's that's minor group one, so we need to get support on that. If we get a nice tested support on that, that then we'll be pushing up to the five at that point, which is the old high, so we're going to have a dance across that level there as well. And um, and then, yeah, we'll get support on that and then we can go up. And then when we go up, we have to look at, well, we know we've got eight here, but we also need to be mindful of group two. So 65 in here, so 3,650 roughly. I'll just leave it there. And then, of course, we've got group two in here, the 20 in here. Um, so that's that group there. So if we get support into, into that 650 area, then we'll climb up through here and that will be fine. But we could also be crea creating a top there. We'll have a look at the structure when we get there. There's a couple of different ways I can count this here. So this low here, we can look at that as wave one and two here and three and four occurring here. So that will take us to that low there, 38.2% retracement level, then move up for wave one. And if that's the case, then we'll have an ABC back again, and then we'll go up from that point. So that can be likely. If we don't use this one here, if this is for some reason, some part of this in terms of one, two, three here, four and five here, then we'd need to look at this as um, wave one up here, and then we'll have a deeper correction back down into the 61.8%, roughly to the 200 here so what we need to do here is just keep the stop out of the way um, but we also want to build into the positions as well um, yeah so even if we have wave one up here like one two three four five for wave one here then we're going to have some sort of abc pattern here may not be this big and then we'll push up again so we're going up it's just like we don't want to you know we don't want to give them our
our, our profits by giving them our stop, you know. But yeah, that's all good. Um, and just a little trade here that we'd been uh, moved into uh, lending tree here. And the good thing about this though is we've had five waves up and then we've had this A, B and C wave here. And then looking at this as wave one, an A and a B and a C here. So we've got these two, two corrections here. So that means we should um, move along quite nicely through here. So um, yeah, uh, all we need to do is just keep the stop out of the way here as well. So we'll look to add to this as well along the way. Um, no biggie, I'll just copy that for a second and put that there. So we're long in here. If we can see a nice, like, one, and th this might be able to be counted differently, but let's just, or just put it, or just go the conservative count. And I mean, that can be one here and two here, then one and two here. So, um, but we'll just look at this as one and two here and three here and four here. Uh, dancing here and then wave five up up here so let's just allow that to play out here and we'll get a we'll we'll look at that a bit we'll, you know as it develops we'll take a closer look at it but what I'm thinking is that we'll come back in over this side or we may be able to get in over here for this as well okay so we'll, we'll wait first because once we've also got you know because Really, this can be down for one, back for two, down for one, ABC back for two here and collapse at that point. That's possible. But if we get that nice clear five wave structure here, that means that we can buy on this pullback over here, but we want to be above the level for that. So there's a couple of different ways to get in. So we'll build that. And then once we're into this here, we'll look to um, add to this as well as we move up through here, try and build a few positions into this. Yep. Okay, um, the other one is uh, Tesla, and um, with Tesla here, we can look at wave three here. So that means that we're looking at wave four here, uh, this low here. We can look at it as wave one, an A and a B and a C for wave two. I have to say this is not counting very well as wave one here again too. So we may have to put this wave four over here for this. Um, and look at it in a bit of a triangle sort of pattern. Not that it bothers us at this stage, it will become clear and evident as the trend starts to reveal itself up into this space. The idea here was that we would look to go, we had over here to here to here. So really we just want support on top of the 50 here. And with this here, I can see that this is impulsing nicely to the upside. So we'll get some sort of um, arrival reaction first high above the level, then some type of correction here, and then push up here for, for that. So really we, you know, really want this to be sort of over here for that. Unless we can count the five waves here, we can buy the pullback over here. So you can refine this. Of course you can go into this already, but you just need to leave the stop out of the way for this. So somewhere, I'm probably thinking one, two, three, four, and five here for one and back for two, then one, two, three, four, five here for the third wave, fourth wave, and fifth wave. So we're not far off it there. Sorry about that, one, two, three, four, five for one and two, then one, two, three, four, five here, hitting there for the third wave, back for the fourth, and then up for the fifth. So may not, oh yeah, it could go that high, yeah. But anyway, we want to leave the stop out of the wave until this wave two is pulled back. So the trick really is to make money out of this is not to overtrade. Less is more. Just keeping it way out of the way. So we could probably just get a bit of an idea. If I go to that, just going to that first high above the level there. And not that it has to pull back to the 50-60% retracement level either at that point, but it just tells us where we need to keep our stop out of the way, out of troubles, harm's way, so to speak. And if it does pull back down here, we can count a really nice impulse wave here based on this corrective wave and an impulse wave here, well then we could buy in the box as well. Alrighty, um, that's that. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.